Good morning, YouTube. Been a long time since I posted a video. I've been real busy here ever since I moved to California. I uh, finally got a chance to kind of get out and do a day hike here. I've done a lot of day hikes, but not a lot of overnighters, so I haven't filmed much. Um, I'm off at 80, uh, Highway 80, just kind of west of Truckee. And I'm going to hike up to Castle Peak. And then I'm going to circle down and try to hit up the Peter Grubb Hut. It's like a ski hut in the middle of, uh, middle of the woods here. So I'll try to hit that up, have lunch there, and uh, just get like 8 to 10 miles in. Uh, snow's real firm right now, which is nice. I brought my snowshoes just in case, but uh, it's good and firm now, so I'm going to make some time here before it gets warmed up. Should get up into the or 40, upper 40s, I think, today. Should be a good hike. First view of the objective here, Castle Peak. About three, four miles to get up there. Oh man, snow is perfect. Uh, it's like walking on a path. I don't even have to throw on the snowshoes, crampons, or anything. Oh, of course, as soon as I see that, it's going to start getting mushy. If it gets up in the 40s, we'll uh, see how it goes. But having a pretty awesome view here. The weather's about perfect. Slight breeze. Oh man, it's good to get outside in the office all week. Pretty busy. Woo, here we go. Walking along here. And uh, I think there's a stream down there. It's a giant hole. This is bigger than it was last time I was here. You do not want to fall down there. I'm sure it's a good 30 feet. Well, let's see. Okay, maybe 15 feet. We can go for about an hour, about two miles in or so. And uh, next up is that slope right there. And then it kind of gets onto a crest and you walk up to the peak area. It's it even steeper. So I'm going to throw on some snowshoes now. That be a little bit more steeper area. Uh, snow's still real firm, which is nice. Um, <laughs> I did a climb with a club two weekends ago, and it was like 55 by probably like nine o'clock, and the snow, I was pistoling up to my waist, and it was rough. So I bought some new snowshoes, and I'm gonna try them out, and I'll show them to you here as I go along, see how they work out in the snow conditions. I'm looking out today, there's like almost no wind, Castle Peak's right up there, and then behind me, you can see it with that peak right there is andesite. I've got a whole lot of energy when I come back, maybe I'll hit it up too, but... Whew. Woo! Yeah, I get my work on end today. Woo! We're getting close. I'm moving these trees. They are completely frosted over. They're right here on this exposed ridge. I just gotta make one little cut in and up. Should be there. Then I might break out the ice axe, honestly, on the way downhill because it is uh, its pretty steep and it's getting icy. Woo! Just to play around a little bit, I'm going to go up to the steeper stretch here versus going this way and kind of ease your route. I threw on crampons just to, I don't know, I carried them up here when I try to play around with them, right? Uh, do that and practice a little ice axe technique. Um, yeah, gorgeous view today. It's not too windy right here, which is awesome. Woo! Good hike. Almost to the top. I probably need to get more to my right. I'm probably on top of a cornice right now, which is stupid. I'm trying to find a place to go next weekend. I'm thinking, if you came up and over this way, come down. Then go up that sketchy bit and up around and try to get to that peak. That might be next weekend. Oh man, Woo, made it to the top. A little light scramble on the way up here. This was all completely snow covered last time I was up here like two months ago. <laughs> There's a, a 30 foot drop behind me, so I gotta do this kind of carefully. But it is. Uh, Absolutely freaking gorgeous up here. I'll uh, turn the uh, turn it around here in a sec and show you what it looks like. This is unreal. All right, let's do a little tour here. I parked right down there. There's the ski resort. There's 80 right there. You can see the valley way over there. Keep coming around this way. I climbed up down through there. 
around and then had to scramble it through this here. That ridge right here, pretty sure that's the PCT. If not, I think it runs maybe down that way. I don't know which way the PCT runs here. We keep looping around. Over here, that's Truckee in the distance. And we keep moving this way. That, I can't remember what, snow, uh, what ski resort that is, but that's one of them. And then that's Heavenly right over there. And you can barely see Tahoe right there and there. But that's Heavenly way over there. So you can see for miles and miles up here. Wrapping up lunch here at the peak. It's super nice out. Decided to have uh, lunch up here just because it's not terribly windy. And I'm uh, going to head back down now. A couple quick things on gear. Pack-wise, I brought the uh, Golight Jam 50. Long time backpack. Had it forever. It uh, compresses down real easy and you can use it as a day pack. It's lightweight. Um, <coughs> there we go. Trekking poles about the uh, Black Diamond Alpine Cork. Um, trekking poles, I've used these forever, backpacking and such. They are great poles. Uh, ice tool, I brought this just in case I want to do some glissading down a, a hill and just practice using and stuff, kind of getting into the mountaineering side of stuff. This is, uh, I think, a 64 or 60, yeah, 64, 65 centimeter one. It's more of a kind of a mixed tool, but um, it's good for all around too. Um, snowshoes, I got these off Amazon. They were on sale. I actually had these once before. Um, this is MSR Ascent, Evo Lightning, something or other, something or other. Uh, super good traction. Uh, they work great in the snow conditions. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid snow. I, I was walking around in boots for quite a while, so. I brought these just in case it got slushy because last time I was up here it got slushy. Um, crampons are down over the hill hidden behind a bush. Um, I took them off as I came up the rock, but uh, they are the Black Diamond Cyborgs. So they're probably complete overkill. They're ice climbing uh, crampons, but I want to get more into that, so I bought those. And then um, mountaineering boots. These are, I can't really see, can't see them. There we go. Uh, they're the La Sportiva Nepals. Uh, I've had them for two, three months and um, getting them kind of good and broke in, my feet used to them and stuff like that, so um, definitely be using them on future climbs. And uh, it's kind of chilly up here, so I'm gonna head back down now. All right, here we go. Back down this little ridge, and then kind of around a little ways, and we'll be on our way. Here's a little taste of the uh, snow field going downhill. Super epic view. <laughs> Pretty cool what the uh, snow and ice does to the uh, tree limbs out here. I said I was going to go down, but I was having too much fun. And actually, energy level is pretty good. I was getting real beat there at one point. Uh, I don't know what this peak is. But there's a nice, clear dirt path to it. I got all the food and gear to get there, so why not bag one more while I'm out here? Unbelievable good view. Here's the backside of Castle. I think I'm trying to come on up this way next week and we'll see. Never done it that way. It's pretty windy, so hopefully you can hear me. But uh, I made it to the top of my second peak. Awesome view from here. The Sierras just go forever that way. And uh, I see a couple other potential peaks over this way. Probably right behind me, you can see this Castle Peak. I was on the like one, two, three. I was on the third one over there. Woo! Yeah, I'm. <laughs> this is an extra hour this one way, so I take an hour back, and then it's completely downhill. So I'm looking forward to the little downhill now. We've been up for all day, basically. Oh, unbelievable weather! Great view. Couldn't ask for anything else. Here's a little 360 action of the view. Woo! As I sink down into the snow. Castle Peak. There's more wind. Yeah, this is awesome. There's a super pointy peak right over there. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up on the map. Looks like a potential spot. And somewhere buried in all this snow is all my trout in their lakes. Another, another month or two, hopefully, I'll be fishing. Just inhaled a cliff bar. I was starving. Uh, it's two o'clock now. Hopefully, within the next two hours, I can make it back to the car. Get me back home by 5:30, which would be nice. Um, got a little bit more up, and then it's all downhill, which I'm looking forward to. And downhill feels good.
about a half mile from the car. Had an awesome time today. Uh, I was really glad I was able to get to the top of Castle Peak and then I got to figure out what the name of that other peak was. Uh, just checked my Garmin watch and I've done about nine miles, so probably about nine and a half total. 2,600 feet of elevation gain. And um, my max altitude was like 9,050 feet. So pretty awesome, <laughs> pretty awesome Saturday. It's now getting real warm. Snow's getting a little slushy. Uh, I'm absolutely starving. I was smart this time and packed a lunch and put it in the uh, in the car. So looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this video. We we'll try to get out and do some more day trips here. Uh, our schedule's kind of freeing up a little bit towards coming coming summer. Uh, so try to get some more content out. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.